Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Steve Ricardo. How are you doing? Getting close to 2021. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys did great. Um, yeah, awesome. New subscribers. Please uh, hit the like button down below, uh, the subscribe button, Facebook, YouTube, you know, and the bell. The bell's important. You know why? You'll be up to date on everything I'm doing. And that way, you won't have to hear it from a friend going, oh, did you check out Steve's latest video? Dude, that was awesome. And you'd be like, yeah, um, yeah, it was pretty cool, man. Yeah. At the watering hole, it's a bad idea. So hit the button and subscribe and I'll do the same for you and I'll check out your page. If you have any comments and concerns or something you want me to check out, let me know because we're a community, man. We're keeping the shred alive. That's important. So today, simple. Alesis electric drum kit, right? So there's Alesis, there's TD, there's Yamaha. There's hundreds on the market. You probably own one. And the reason you're clicking on this video is because you want to know how to get this system to work on your computer. Simple. Layman's terms, it's called a computer printer cable to USB. So it's a printer cable, essentially, right? So real simple. It's that rectangular one. You know, it's a 2.0. You see them on uh, Amazon. I'll put the links down below. You can get 10 footers. 20 footers, 25, 15, you name it. I'll put a couple links down below. Now, my computer to my kit is a little far, so I had to get a 15 footer. 12 bucks, 13 bucks, easy, pleasy, cheap, no problem. So, I have an Alesis Crimson, like I said, and on the back, you'll see these hookups, right? A little square USB out, like there it is right there. So that's where this printer, printer cable goes. You plug it in there, the USB part, drag it all the way to your USB on your computer, and plug it in there. Now, some guys like to use, you know, quarter inch left and right out to the computer or out to your DAW system, you know, two channel in. Not a problem. Sure, you could do that. That's okay. The problem is, these are great systems. You've got what, two, three hundred sounds on them. Now, if you have a DAW system like I do, like I've got, um, I've got Cubase, Cubase 10, and I mean, there's Pro Tools, there's GarageBand, there's a plethora. It makes my head spin. So. With those, majority of them, plus you got tune tracks, but you got Easy Drummer, they all have MIDI control systems, right? You go in and plug in the part you want. Now, the benefit with doing it this way is you record your drum parts, whatever sound you got. It goes under your system. If you see right here, there you go. Automatically, my system recognizes the Crimson. So it has the features that I want to do MIDI. If I'm not happy with the drum sound that it's coming through in my system right now, I basically go into my system and pick out a drum set like I'm showing you. There you go, right? <laughs> Rock kit, hip hop, African music, Zimbabwe, whatever you want it, trance, you automatically convert your kit. If you want a better sounding kit, like a 1970s kit, automatically you convert it. The MIDI is the pattern that the program and the signals that go across from, you know, from, from hidden each thing goes across there, right? It's real simple, right? Doesn't have it. Right, so automatically it goes across. You could change it to, you know, whatever you want. So that's the easiest way to do it, real simple. Done deal. Plug and play, go ahead. Get the system, inquire about it, but that's the, probably the easiest to do. If you want to go simplicity and just have a plug-in quarter inch, you're good to go. Anyway, I've been Steve. You've been fantastic. Hope this video helped. If it didn't, comment down below. Let me know, and I'll help you through it. All right, cheers, peace, happy new year. Let's do this.